Some people, they really sleep on that shit, but not for long. Mm -hmm. Telling you, like, I got it. I got us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all about to be home soon, so we about to turn the city right back up. You know what I'm saying? About to be lit. I'm telling you. Carry 3600, man, the only one. And we rocking with Ty all the way. Get in tune. Yes, sir. Appreciate you pulling up, man. For sure, then. Yep, yep. So, hey, we'll get right into it. You know, who are you? Where are you from? So I'm Carry 3600. I'm an artist. I'm from downtown South Virginia, to be exact, for the state. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Carry 3600, man. Big 36. I'm on the road, man. I'm on the road working. Okay. That is so. You know, people know you're here for the music, but uh, before sure. we get into that, um, just, you know, start off a little more with, you know, like Suffolk, you know, and then just the early years. So how did sure. that, uh, you know, how was that experience in making you into who you are today? Shit, Suffolk definitely play a part. You know, it ain't, it ain't really too, too many, like, people that try to, like, take this field for real out there. Like, it's either you hooping or you going to work type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that really, like, motivated me to, like, really break that that curse on it. I don't want to say, like, a curse, but, like, try to show people that it, you really can do it, you feel me? Like, so that really played a part that, like, trying to prove to my home city, like, boy, we can do some other shit, you feel me? So, like, it definitely played a part. But when I was back there, I was really on some on some sports shit, like, you know what I'm saying? At first, like, I was really trying to hoop during, like, the school years and shit, but around, like, sixth, seventh grade, I really, like, started getting more into, like, music type shit, like, around that age type shit, but... That was really it for real suffer. Right, okay. So you said sports. What uh what sports was you into? Basketball. I really I played every sport in middle school though. They can play volleyball, football, <laughs> basketball. I was playing everything. Ping pong. Nah, I played the I played the ping pong. I won't know that one. But I played everything else though. I was really just trying to try everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, basketball mainly though. That like that was like nigga had hoop dreams for real. Word. Like, yeah, yeah. Dope, dope. And they ended up in music. For sure, yeah. that that came from like I started getting like I don't want to say about ten, eleven degree. I got cut on some shit. That was the first time I got cut like from the team type shit. So like then I was like, boy, I ain't fucking with that type shit. Everybody name on the list and shit. My shit ain't up there. So that's when that's when I really really turned the music type shit. I'm like, boy, these niggas ain't fucking with me. Type shit. I was kind of short too, so. Uh -huh. You know, the coaches, they was on something. They need big gremlins out there, bitch. So yeah, they really right. won't fuck it with me, for real. But that turned me up, though. I was, I, I'm glad now. I'm glad they cut a nigga, for real. Mm, yeah, so, you know, so how did that, um, you know, experience, you can get a little more in-depth, like, uh, you know, really fuel, like, our, what was that experience getting into music, like, for you? Like, I'm going to take it serious. Uh... I mean, it kind of came kind of naturally, bro, because I, like, I was always around music and shit like that, like, as a young nigga still. I was still playing basketball, but music was still always around, you feel me? Like, my uncle always had 106 and Park on the TV, he stayed playing different mixtapes and shit like that. So, like, I was already, like, musically tuned in, you know what I'm saying? I just had to, like, really find my sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, really see, like, what I wanted to do with it and shit. And even in middle school, bro, I caught my own, um, me and my brother, we caught our own stew type shit. So, like, I was always, like, trying to engineer, like, make beats, all type of shit myself, like, just anyway type shit. So, really just turning that on was, it was, it, I, I wouldn't say it was hard. What was hard was just trying to find, like, my sound, like, what I was going to do, like, what I was going to put out to the people type shit. That was probably like, the hardest part, but that yeah, came kind of easy, too, for sure, like. They weren't too, too hard. I want nothing I had to got down. Really, like, super duper lock in. I just had to keep going with the shit. It felt like it came naturally on some shit. Yeah. So, you know, what? Uh, it coming natural, I know you got a lot to pull from because, like, well, uh, what we talked about before, just having that exposure to music. Yes. So, like, how did you kind of pinpoint, all right, I'm going to pull from this, pull from this. How did you really curate your own sound? Shit, just just off the artists that like my my uncle was like kind of like a down south type type of music type shit. So it was like more like 
Project Pat, Three Six Mafia, Turned Up type beats type shit like that. So like, that's kind of like what my, that's kind of what I was fucking with. Like I was fucking with the rhythm, the type, like the melodies and shit they had. So I kind of like took that and put it into a like, cause you know, they, they kind of more like up tempo, straight trap. I got more of a trap, like me melodic, you know what I'm saying? Type of thing, like, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of like mixed it all in together in one type shit. But just, just having that that around it, it made it easy though type shit because like I'm seeing what's good like I'm seeing I'm on like they on TV you know what I'm saying so I'm seeing what direction I need to go in you feel me so that yeah. kind of like that kind of made it easier just trying to put it in me you know what I'm saying all in one gotcha like yeah like pro that progress yeah for sure so you know speaking of your sound what's like your favorite track out right now that you have my I favorite know. track out right now. Boy, gotta be, I wanna say, the whole Mono World EP that I just dropped, the whole shit for real. All, it's, a, it's a full song EP. I just mm -hmm. dropped on Audio Mac exclusively, but I'm dropping on all platforms April 5th. That is, you gotta go turn, tune in on that too. Download that Audio Mac. I know you don't got it. You gotta get on that. No bullshit. But yeah, I, I wanna say that, that whole tape though, cause like that's more like the, a newer, newer songs for me you feel me like more like what i'm just now making type shit mm -hmm. so yeah that, that gotta be that take yeah. notes um inside stop sign and i'm missing one uh damn inside take notes stop sign and did right okay for sure Why? Right, yeah so you know with those um songs like the you know short eps um you know what was what went into that like in terms of like you got people dropping seven tracks 11 and beyond but you know what was that what was usually that? I, just, I just get with my team usually like i got plenty of release bro like too much like that shit be overwhelming sometimes like but i just get with my team we run through all them shits and whatever like songs we know we um pick the that sound like one project or some shit. It don't matter if it's three, four, you know what I'm saying? We putting them together and then we get a whole rollout for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit together the right way, put that shit out. You know what I mean? That's what really need to put your time into a rollout. That shit might take long, but once once you get it going and you see the results for that shit, bro, that shit worth the time. Sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. A lot of people don't really have that team. And another thing is it really pay attention to what's working. So salute to that. Yes. Fast. But, um, you know, leading into my next question is that, you know, how important is having that team around you and what difference uh, do you see it, it making in um, your music? That shit very important, bro. Like, that shit super important. Like, that shit make the, the life like of an artist, that shit make it way better, especially, like, when you got, when your team is, like, you can look at them as brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like like family type shit, but that shit makes shit so much better, bro. Like, cause as an artist, bro, you supposed to be only focused on your music, your crowd, you feel me? They make the shit so much, like they, they handling my business, fucking press, cover arts, nigga, like them niggas like a super team, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit really important, bro. I encourage everybody to try to go build them a team, you know what I'm saying? Not just off, just like, you know what I'm saying? Just no money or no shit like that, but a real team, like, cause you gotta trust your team, you feel me? Cause they, they working for you, you feel me? So, and that's very important, bro. Like, you yeah, wanna do this shit, you gotta have a team. Yeah. It's yeah. Dumb. Yeah, and like you say, you know, just, it should be rooted in relationships first. Fast, before um, anything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then get into the business. That's how a lot of people end up getting fucked up. Is it like, all right, wait, I'm going to get with this person and they don't really have your best interest. For sure. So. They're going to fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be late out here. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, so yeah, that's dope. That's dope. So, but I'm um, also, you know, with the team talk, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, what are the goals um, that y'all set down? And, you know, I know you said, all right, you got a lot of unreleased, but like, you know, I know the fans are waiting. So what are mm -hmm. the, like the goals throughout 20, uh, 2022. 
Shit, the goal of 2022 is to change this shit up out here, for real, for real, like, for the better, like, we doing this shit the right way, you feel me? So, like, it's really, like, we putting a platform out there letting niggas know, like, boy, we, it's a different way you can do this, like, we can really do this shit, for real, bro, because I don't think, I don't think niggas be thinking, like, that we can do the shit that these bigger artists be doing, you feel me? Like, that we can't, like, it's not possible because ain't nobody really did it other than, you know, Push and, you know, Pharrell and Tim, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's really the goal, just to pull out more quality, bro. Like, show VA that we can do this shit for real, bro. Like, that's my whole goal, like, trying to, because it's hella talent here, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get down, really put that out there, bro, that we can do quality, it's quality over quantity forever, you feel me? Hmm. So... That's really the goals for sure, bro. Like, really do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just take off year. I said that last year. It's really take off year for real, for real, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So speaking of last year, it's been a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So how's the, you know, pandemic affected you? And then just what you trying to push along? Shit. It ain't affect me in a bad way. <laughs> so I, I fuck with the pandemic. I love the pandemic. You know, cap. If I made COVID money, I was my own. My first album, Blastar. I want to plan, bro. I love the pandemic. That shit really, that shit really brought like creators together for real. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, niggas had to go outside for real. Not, I mean, we couldn't go outside, but you know what I'm saying? Niggas had to really get out there and use the social. Figure. Yeah, we had to, yeah. we, was on, we, was on, we was outside on social media, basically. You know what I'm saying? Niggas had to really connect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit, I fuck with the pandemic, bro. It brought me a lot. That, I came up through the pandemic for real. Like, mm -hmm. my name really started buzzing around that time. Yeah, definitely. Especially you doing music, something sure. digital. You know, yeah. I got to ask everybody because it's like, all right, you know, I know that, you know, I was seeing it, you know, as soon as it started, people figuring out new ways to Fact, connect the and do this. Everybody. Yeah, it's like, sure. right, we got to get to it. So, well, definitely. yeah, that, that's good to hear. It's good to hear focusing on the positives. Yeah, but also you mentioned uh, Virginia scene. So, you know, what are your thoughts um, a little more in depth in, ter uh, in terms of like, you know, the artist, the sound um, out here, and it's been making super strides like the past three, four for years. Sure. I'm fucking, I'm fucking with how the scene looking right now. For sure, like people really, like niggas really out here, like really doing it for real, like videos and shit. I'm fucking with everybody, we bro. We just gotta, we gotta get them. They everybody want niggas to come together out this shit, bro. We gotta really just get them that look. We gotta get them that quality that people, that other people want for them to come look at VA for real, you feel me? But I'm fucking with everybody wave though, bro. Like everybody really got their own wave and with everybody got their own sound because Virginia don't got no no one bass sound, you feel me? So everybody's coming with their own shit, you feel me? And they don't suck. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really fucking with how Virginia music scene is right now. I just, I'm just ready to take it to the next level though. Yeah, definitely so. You know, speaking of taking it to the next level, I do want to get more into you um, and just, you know, your creative process. So, mm -hmm. you know, we talked about like getting into the music, creating your own sounds. So in terms of locking into the studio, what does that look like for you? Shit, I record myself too. Like, so really I just- Like before the studio. What do you mean? Oh, you say you record yourself. Yeah, like I, like, I physically, like, record myself. Like, all the music I put out, I record and engineer that shit myself. But oh, I mean, before, word, before my team get to it and, like, make sure everything right before it's put out, yes. I'm in a room by myself, locked in, probably got a can of lit or some shit. Like, right. I think you're talking like, voice notes or something. Oh, so nah, you really, nah, okay, nah, nah, like, I really it. get behind that laptop and that mic, no yeah, care. Like, not... I'm the one pressing record and stop and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, I just like, my, my creative process is, like, it's better like that, bro, because like, ain't nobody around. I know how to song, like I know how I'm supposed to sing. Like sometimes I gotta sing, bro. Like I ain't trying to, I mean, I will. Like I get in the big stool and still sing in front of the niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with that, but that shit is way better when I'm locked in the room, nobody around, bro. I can really get into it, you feel me? Like, but that's really it, bro. I, find, I got down, go through a couple beats for about an hour, got down, find a beat. Just get straight into it. Like mm. it really, the song really depend on how how the beat sound. Like the beat give me vibes type shit. As soon as I hear the beat, I can already know like what type of song I'm about to make. You feel me? So yeah. like, it's really straightforward for me. I just get straight to it, bro. Like hey, all I gotta do is listen to the beat. I like the beat, be on it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and that's I think it. that's yeah. You know, beautiful thing about the music today is it's so much content, music, beats, YouTube producers, sure. whatever, and it allows you to like 
damn, as soon as it hits you, it's kind of da 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 da. It kind of sure. takes it back to when you know you used to do the regular freestyle. For sure. And it just hits you. So, you know, um, it's better I, like that because, bro, when, whenever you say first, that come with like with the freestyle and shit too. Whatever you say first, bro, I feel like that's the best. Like that's the best time you gonna say it. Like yeah, you can't be hard right now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, so that's, I feel like all artists should try to at least learn how to record this stuff, bro, because it always ain't going to be an engineer, like, around that you can just call, be like, yo, I just came up with this shit, I need to come, no, I can go straight to the crib, boom, load it up, bang, like, that easy. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, another part of what you were saying was that it's like, it creates that authenticity, too, so, Fast. you in the studio in front of a few people or the... Uh, you know, engineer, you trying to, you know, probably cater your lyrics, but if you don't know, you're going to say what you got to get and on. And then, and then come in with like that different sound, bro. You know, like you'll get in there and you'll know what you about to do. Like, but it'd be like a crazy noise or some shit. Like so an engineer left or somebody in there left, that shit might throw you off. Like, they ain't fucking with it. But if you at the crib, that shit come out a whole hit. Yeah, then you let them hear it, you feel me? That's what I'd utilize the big studio for. Like, all the unreleased, I can come in there and let them hear everything I've been making, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's what I use the biggest studios for, you feel me? Yeah, dope. I definitely gotta salute that because I'm big on just creating yourself, um, you know, just finding a way to do it. Yeah. So, you know, you doing the music and engineering and then, I mean, we got all the resources we need. So, yes. yeah, salute to that. But, um, you know, also in terms of like you creating that music, locking into the studio, what was the um, like process with this last project with those songs that you had already got into or you was like, I'm going to create it, you know, straight to this? Usually when I record, bro, it's not even like, to go like like a song like I need a song for this like, I need a song for this. I just record like no cap like whatever I'm feeling I just record record like I got if I'm feeling full fast song that day I'm just recording them putting them shits like in the vault type shit then I'll go back and pick like if it sound like for a tape type shit so with Mono World I probably had made them songs probably like a month or two prior before I sent it out to my team type shit wow, okay. so yeah no we no just got that together. Yeah, so pretty much keeping that same system. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See you on, okay. Dope. So, you know, who are uh, who or what are like your inspirations in terms of it could be music, lifestyle, uh, like you say, you know, the entrepreneurship, doing things yourself. For sure. Musically, I would say I'm looking at like probably like around like Lil Baby, Future. You know what I'm saying? Just Lil Baby, just like off how he ran his 4P up count. You feel me? I got my own shit, Mono. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm trying to, I kind of look up to him, like how he run his shit. He got everybody doing different shit. Everybody got chained. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter if they rap or not, you feel me? So that's yeah. why I look up to like musically. Future, just his music, bro. Like that nigga music just speak to me type <laughs> shit. Like no cap. But life, I would have to say my mom though. Mm. My mom, like, bro, cause she just, her ass just go in. Like, I always, I always see her making way out of nowhere, bro. So, like, that's why I never give up, you feel me? Like, I gotta go ahead and give her that life, bro. No cap. That's what I'm really working hard to get to right now, for sure. Mm. Yeah, so. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so you see you setting that up, like, out here? Or do you have a certain dream location for yourself? Shit, yeah, I know. I, I, you know, I want to leave, like, like when I got down, can't, like, go to a, I'm trying to go somewhere, like, out of U.S. for real, like, crib. But I know my dudes and my grandma, but they ain't going for that. Mm-hmm. So I know I'm going to have to find somewhere, probably not, probably not in state, not in VA, but probably, like, Georgia, somewhere in New York, something, something like that, somewhere a big city, because my grandma like to do shit. So mm-hmm. that makes sure they're somewhere they want to be. All right, okay. Yeah, so, you know, speaking of, um, you know, setting it up, and again, you, you know, the money world, money brand, mm-hmm. just like, you know, what inspired. So it's just like the first tape for you or project with that uh, brand name. Yeah. Or, okay. For sure. Yeah. It's, I mean, I, I had dropped a song called uh, Mona probably like two, three years ago, but I really wasn't like pushing it like behind it. Mona, yeah. I had just, I was just like, it was just something I used to say, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is my first project like with like Brandon Mona. Like this is my first one I'm on the world. Mm, all right. For sure. So yeah, we'll tap into that a little more. So you know, the first track stop sign. Like what um, you know, what inspired you to put that as the first one? Like what's your creative brand? Stop yeah. sign, cause that's more like 
the hood, like, how was you just about to start saying, you know what I'm saying? That's more like telling you, like, where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? How I was raised type shit. Like, I was raised out, like, outside. Like, I was, they were teaching me how to get to it early, you feel me? So that, that's more of, like, an introduction to me, you know what I'm saying? I always, try, like, on every tape, I try to always have, like, a, a good intro, like, something that's going to catch you, you know what I'm saying? And stop sign just fit perfect right there, you know what I'm saying? Just from the, the first words that I say in the song. All right. Hey, look, you ain't had no choice to be raised outside and suffer. Because I know so it's got to be outside yeah, you, out there. You are, yeah, depending on where you at, man. You is literally like outside for us. Sure. Yeah. Outside. We, 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 we talking about downtown suffer, right? Oh, either one. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Downtown, you talking about I'm from downtown suffer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like two different sides type shit. Yeah. You know, downtown suffer be on some shit like, boy, that side is not suffer. But you know, it still is suffer. But downtown suffer is like the heart of suffer. You feel okay. me? Like, well, that's yeah, you can get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm from downtown suffer, bro. Like over there, East Washington Street, Hollywood, Fifth Street. I'm from all over there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, but that's like, boy. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I ain't even nothing to say more about that one. <laughs> yeah, so now that's the beautiful thing about out of here because I was thinking about like the the country part. So yeah, like, yeah that's why that's why I had to make sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was talking about down like downtown, okay. like more like it ain't country. It's like it's city, but it's like mm, lower class city. You know what I'm saying? You can uh, see a lot of corner stores, rundown houses, abandoned houses. Crackheads everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit like that. That. that real country feel. Yeah, for sure. Like that real, yeah. like trench, low vibe, low, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. 460. Hmm? Yeah, 460, the interstate. 58. 58. Yeah, for 58. Sure. So, yeah, I'm thinking about, um, you know, like, when you go through stuff up, like hit Franklin. Franklin, yeah. You talking about, you talking about like over there by Lakeland High School and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, that's yeah. the country right there. Yeah, they get yeah. treasures out there too, though, but yeah. that's the country. I'm from like inner city, like downtown suffer okay. type shit. Right off of that uh, merger. That yeah, yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah, I know you talking about, yeah. So, yeah, that's dope, man. This is, you know, so much like land and pockets out here. Like you talk about one city, like how we talk about the seven cities, it's like, you know, you can talk about one city that same way. Facts. So. Facts. But yeah, that's dope. You know, so how do you feel in terms of um, Suffolk getting the love, you know, that, uh, you know, I'm sure it's like talent everywhere that, you know, you got a lot of people from North Virginia Beach that get all pretty much mostly the sign, so. A lot of niggas sleep on Suffolk, bro. You know, for sure. Like, I mean, it's really only, it's really only me and y'all for real. Y'all free y'all, like free y'all for sure. But it's really only me and him, but boy, y'all had, I ain't gonna count, y'all had city turned up when he, he was out here though, like, like, you ain't know, you ain't fucking with y'all in the city, like, I don't know, like, you might be, you, you questionable, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, but suffer, they really sleep on that shit, but not for long. Telling you, like, I got it. I got us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all about to be home soon, so we about to turn the city right back up. You know what I'm saying? About to be living. I'm telling you. Yeah, solid. Yeah, so, like you say, you know, you and, um, you know, your boy Yacht, like, y'all, you know. That's my uh, cousin. That's my brother. That's your cousin. cousin. Okay, yeah, sure. work. So, y'all y'all was doing stuff before? Yeah, we got, we got like, two, three tracks type shit. We were just running on one of my one of my older projects type shit. But, yeah, we got we got some couple shit. But we was together type shit. Like, not every day, but when we link up, we was doing some shit. Sure. Mm-hmm. Or dope, dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's how, like, you know, just like we was talking about the team, just having somebody you can lock in with like that, especially blood cousin like that. So, so hell yeah. Yeah, dope. Yeah, same city. So, you know, in terms of Suffolk, um, you know, could you see yourself like really, you know, building up out there? It was uh, dope. Yeah, like other, I guess, like talent. So like you talking about the 4PF and money, you know, the money brand, um, just like really all right, yeah, I want to add you to the team and kind of get more into it. Most definitely, I got like um, my boy Trady, my boy Trady, he from Suffolk too. Uh, Tess, Safari, they all from Suffolk, you feel me? So yeah, yeah, you know, I got done with me. They like, we like brothers for sure. So, you know, they, they really building this shit with me for real, for real. But yeah, like, other than that, I'm telling you, it ain't too many, it ain't too, too many rappers out downtown Suffolk, bro. Like, it was really only, like, me and y'all, for real. Like, it's, my young niggas coming out of there right now type shit, they snapping, they got their little movement going and shit. But other than them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, 
Say that nobody else I would have had, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Cause it ain't too much out there, bro. But but other than like, yeah, I really got everybody for real, for real. No, it's no. gonna be some people that I do add, like when when shit come together, for real. But right now we really building it up, for sure. Yeah. So and I'm sure that kind of breeds how you go about, you know, you doing everything yourself. Ain't too much. You know, we already talked about selfies and stuff. So yeah. in terms of like uh, features, you know, how do you feel about features and collaborating with other artists? Uh, um, I really like, I really want to, bro. But like the type of music I make, bro, like just from experience though, like Brian and got in the studio with some artists, bro. And I play, we'll be playing some shit, and I or we'll be playing a beat or something, and I started off with some shit, bro. And they can never like get on the shit, like they can never like get right. I don't know what it is, like mm-hmm. it just like I don't know, like I don't know, if, I don't want to say it'd be too good, or it just might be some shit that just, they can't get right on or some shit, like bro. So I just finished the songs out myself, bro. But it's really some artists that I really do want to work with, though, like bigger artists for real, for real. Mm-hmm. But it's some local artists that I really do want to work with out here too, though, like, right. like Fatty, uh, Why Not Deuce. Man, me and Deuce got some shit, though. But we need to lock in some more. Um, who else? I want to say... Um, Fink, Fink, what's his name? Fink Ken. Fink Ken, yeah. Babe, be on the lookout for Fink Ken, bro. I'm telling you. Yo, shit, I'm trying to work with him. Uh, of course, my brother's in there, 448 roster, full icy, you know what I'm saying? We got plenty of shit coming. Dope, dope. Go. So, how about um, performing? You talking about that, you know, bigger artists, uh, big, bigger stage. So, like, you know, them, you know, Coachella's, Rolling Loud, yeah. shit, Summer in the Water. Disney. Whatever, um, how you feel about being in front of like large crowds? Shit, I'm ready. <laughs> bro, I love that shit, bro. Like even the shows that even the shows that I be having now, like the um like the black hearts and shit, like bro, when that shit whamming, bro, I be ready, bro. Like I'm ready for them big crowds, like I'm ready for the peak round the curtain is just got down a hundred thousand people like we yeah. go crazy bro i probably do flips out that shit baby <laughs> yeah. but like bro i love Stage, that stage uh, what it call it uh crowd surfing yeah yeah bro i yeah. love that shit bro like i don't see how niggas be nervous bro i love that shit bro no cap that shit turn me up more even especially if you in the crowd and you don't know my shit i'm gonna really turn you up like i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna jump in the crowd end up in your damn face or <laughs> shit or something like yeah. that shit really do that shit fine bro yeah do no cap yeah, so you mentioned like, you know, um, shows you've done out here. So mm-hmm. like, you know, how has that reception been and how you rock with the, um, the like the, the people that come out and support? Yeah, shit, they be fucking with me, bro. I ain't, I ain't had a bad show, I want to say. I ain't had a bad show yet, bro. All my shits, they know the word. They come, they front center. I ain't got to tell them the goddamn everybody come to it. I ain't got to really do that for real. Uh, Shit, I ain't had a bad show. No cap. Mm-hmm. Can't even count, bro. Around the, every show I had around the city been turned up. Mm-hmm. Even if it was a little crowd, a little crowd turned up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so I've been getting some good feedback from those shows, bro. Like, I've been really having them show. I feel like it's going to turn up more this summer because you know it's going to be more open and shit. But yeah. other than that, yeah, that shit should be lit, bro. Yeah, looking looking forward to really getting back outside like everybody just... Well, yeah, I think it's going to you know, be the summer when it's really, really open, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Everybody, went, I thought it was going to be last year. Yeah, it's going to be this year, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah it's going to be this year. Now, so. Yeah, but dope, dope. So, you know, with this summer, like, you, um, you know, you and your team, like, you know, you trying to do more, like, traveling, you know, more Most projects dope. coming out, okay. Most dope, because I, I feel like we got, we got a little... Established, man. We established some shit around here, so it's time to goddamn go ahead and let the whole world see this shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's part of that's part of why I named my tape on the world. You feel me? So we going around the world, the world. with that shit. Yeah. 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 We can get more into your music, uh, there, mm-hmm. right? You know, and mm-hmm. just you can talk about just the the makeup. Um, you know what inspired that? Uh, there, yeah, right, man. I heard the beat. Uh, I got the beat in my email, bro. I was in the car just listening to this shit, bro. And something was just just telling me, like, 
I know the sun don't shine on everybody. Like, that shit was just, just coming through my head. Like, it just kept going through. I'm like, boy, I gotta lay this shit down type shit. Damn, when I laid it down, bro, that shit just, like, I don't know what it was. Sometimes I get in the stool, bro, and I lay, like, the first line down type shit. And then I had to come back to it on some shit. Because, like, I, I don't know what I'm going to say next because I was too big on that one line, you feel me? But that song, bro, I got in there and I just laid that first line. That shit just flew. Like, that shit just came, like... And it just, the, the beat, the way the beat ride and shit, that shit just, was, I was feeling it type of shit. Then I um, sent it to my team, they was fucking with it type of shit. We got a little, um, we got a little video on the way for that. Mm. For sure, shit hard as a bitch, like movie, movie type shit, you feel me? That's one of them, that's, that's probably to say that's one, like, probably my first favorite song on the tape for real, even though it's the last song, but that's probably like my favorite shit for real, mm. for real on the tape. Oh, wow, man. Duh. Niggas gonna fuck with that when that video drop, I'm telling you. Were dope, dope. So how does that like feel like when you really lock into it just hits you like that? Bro, it's that like shit. damn, yeah, I know this gonna be the one. For sure, but that shit like a crazy feeling, bro. That shit, I know just from a, like a nigga looking out. I mean, not looking out from the outside looking in, like nigga looking in the booth, be like, man, that nigga now going crazy, bro. Cause you like you be going crazy, like it's like a feeling, like Beyond you know something. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, like you a maniac in that shit. Well, I know I be feeling like that, bro. Cause when I get in that groove, bro. Like, nigga, I just be going crazy. I ain't even count. Like, I don't need, like, an out-of-body experience. Like, I don't hear nobody, nothing. Like, I'm just locked. All I heard is the beat. No cap. Yeah. Yeah, dope. So, in terms of the uh, flow, like, how'd you... It's like I said, you know, um, or like you said, but I was resonating with, is it you do got that kind of balance of melodic, you know, but still yeah. spitting. So, you know, I really, um, you know, appreciate that because it's kind of sure. like, What's going on now? And then you yeah. add your own flavor to it. So yeah. you don't want to be one sided either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm, I make music more for more like people that listen to everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause you know, my generation, like the young niggas, they want to just straight trap, just mm, like, all day. I mean, I mean that type of music too. But you know what I'm saying? I gotta make some music for everybody. You know, I'm mm-hmm. trying to make music for your grandma, your granddaddy, your auntie, or everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with you engineering, like you got the beat. So let's just say dead, right, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of, do you ever try to manipulate or chop stuff up? And all right, let me add my kind of flavor. What you doing? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. I cut the whole beat off and hum on that shit. Like <laughs> it's like my song, my song, boy, bro. I cut the whole beginning of the beat off, bro, and just made a whole melodic shit, and then the beat drop. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, you definitely gotta do that, bro. Cause I mean, the beat be snapping by itself, but literally when you touch it and you give it that touch, bro, that shit be, shit be crazy. Like you can really turn us, like you can turn the song up for real, for real. Like the beat cannot be all that. It depends on what you say on it and just how you got a vision for that shit. Like what you want to do with it, you can turn that shit up mm-hmm. for sure. Right. So that's damn near the single. That's what oh, you bro. like. Look in the camera, like. Hey, everybody check this out. That's that song. For sure. So, okay. Everybody check out Dead Right right now. Check out the whole shit, but Dead Right. Get in tune, I'm telling you. Number four. Number four. Solid, solid. So, yeah, you know, we uh, talked about 2022, the whole rollout. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, where can people find this? And I know you said it'll be available, but, like, you can go ahead and drop all the info. Yeah, for sure. Boy, mm-hmm. 2022, we're going to have more audio mac exclusives. Everything going to be all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, um, Amazon. Shit, it's going to be everywhere. We got plenty more drops coming out, you know what I'm saying? But right now, just go check out Mono World exclusively on audio mac April 5th. It's going to be on all platforms, you feel me? Yeah, that's it, you know what I'm saying? 2022, we got a lot coming. A lot more drops, a lot more vids, a lot more, a lot everything. Nigga, everything. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah, and I know you the first, uh, the first, the very first artist for create uh, with a perfect play. For sure, official. Yeah, so. The first one, the only, not the only one, but you know what I'm saying? The first one, the first yeah, official you gotta set artist. The tone. For sure. Well, yeah, definitely dope. setting the tone, got to. The yeah, first so. one, I gotta do it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, man. Well, you know, salute to you. You know, great conversation. I mean, we could have got into a lot uh, sure. more. Save it for part two. You definitely got to pull back up. Most definitely. Salute to the perfect play. Create with, uh, with, create with the perfect play. And, you know, any, you know, other information where people can find you personally or reach out to you. 
Yeah, uh, Kyrie 3600 on Instagram. You spell it K I R E E 3600. Twitter is Kyrie 36. It's spelled out. Just uh, all the words just spelled out. And shit, I'm Kyrie 3600 on everything. And it's space. It's Kyrie. It's Kyrie space 3600 too. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta type that in right so all my newest shit can pop up. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. Appreciate you coming up. Definitely looking forward oh, to the next. Thanks one. for having me, man. Yes, sir. We out.